effect on your guests if they're distracted by a cake that's lumpy and lopsided. In this video, I'll show you how to split, fill, and level a cake so that it's sturdy and straight. First, smear a dab of buttercream onto your cake board. Next, unmold your cake and place it onto the round. We're going to need to trim off the domed portion of the cake. So to do that and to keep it level, we're going to use the cake pan, turn it upside down, and then using a serrated knife, use the cake pan as a guide to cut the top off of the cake. You can snack on this little domed extra piece of cake or you can put it into a food processor and make some cake crumbs to decorate the sides of a buttercream frosted cake later. Next, we'll need to split the cake into two. We'll use a ruler to mark the center point on your cake. Take a small knife and just mark the sides of your cake where you want to split it into two. Next, using your serrated knife, you use that mark as a guideline. Use your other hand to steady the top of the cake, and then in a gentle sawing motion, you'll turn the cake, keeping the knife still and moving the cake. Once you make it all the way around, you'll move the knife through the center, completely splitting the cake. For a four layer cake, I'm going to split my second layer the same way. Now it's time to fill our cake. One common problem when filling a cake is the kind of muffin top effect that can happen when a filling is too soft or um, you've overfilled the cake where the sides of the cake can kind of bulge out. In order to prevent that, we're going to place the buttercream onto the cake and then using an offset spatula, we're just going to spread the buttercream filling until it's about a quarter inch away from the sides of the cake. This gives your filling some room to spread out when we put on the next layer of cake without bulging or oozing over the sides of the cake. So I'll put the next layer on. And then I'll just press down starting from the middle out, working my filling over to the edges of the cake. Now if you're working with a softer filling like lemon curd or jam, you're going to want to pipe a buttercream dam first in order for that filling to stay inside of your cake. So I'll just pipe a ring around the outer edge of my cake. And next I'll layer in the jam. And you just want to spread that to the buttercream ring that you just piped. And now I'll place on my next layer of cake, the same way I did with the first layer. You want to press a little more gently with this softer filling, starting from the center, moving your way out to the edges. And now I'll fill this last layer the same way I filled the first. Now that my cake's been filled, I'm just going to make sure that it's level before putting it into the fridge. And for this, I use just a regular level you find at the hardware store. You want to do this while your fillings are still soft so that you can kind of push down, making sure your cake is completely level and straight. Now that your cake is level, you want to put it in the fridge for about two hours so it's completely set before applying the crumb coat.